Today's video is going to teach you everything that I know so Hello, far about Madden 18 as I play my first full match. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Today's video is my first game, It's I just logged on, I just got on Madden 18 here and we're playing a head-to-head -head game here against the Atlanta Falcons so looking forward to uh, sharing some things. Let me tell you my playbook so far. Um, I'm in the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook, I searched every playbook and I was thinking a lot about Seattle and then I was thinking a lot about Atlanta and then I was looking at Kansas City and I settled in on at, or, uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers. So. Um, the main reason is because they have the wing stack, um, which is a, a really nice formation for me. Uh, let's check it out. So, uh, and then defense, I'm running Cincinnati. So it's the same playbooks I used last year. We're just going to start there. But look at the Cowboys, man. We're really excited for Madden. Football season is back. Let's see how Zeke does on the first drive here. Let's see if the power O still works the well. See, it's still pretty solid there for five-yard gain. Uh, he was sitting the house on us, so pretty good. Not completely set on playbooks yet. I can't um, cannot say that Pittsburgh it has everything I need. Um, it has most of what I need, but it doesn't have everything I need. So still kind of searching around. I'm going to go with Butler over Williams. I just think Williams drops the ball too much. So let's get into the shotgun bunch, the bread and butter, PA post. Let's see how PA post does. Um, and real quick, guys, my Madden 18 guides, if you guys are looking for help in Madden, uh, I have e-guides that are going to be releasing um, probably in the next two or three days. Uh, I would look for them. That's what we're going to put them out there. So uh, be on the lookout for that. They're going to be uh, pretty solid, pretty good guides to get you started. They're going to give you a full scheme, uh, full tips, everything you need to know about offense and defense and Madden um, and the way that I would suggest playing it. So check those out when they come out. Again, be about two days. Um, just to finalize some things, and then they're going to be ready to go. All right, so looks like this guy's running uh, nickel blitz two, cover two, that kind of stuff. There, I went a little too wide with Zeke. Didn't, didn't move. The, the reason I like Pittsburgh is because they have um, – they have everything that you need from Bunch. The only, the only problem is that they don't have everything you need from like the single back wing uh, tight or wing pair or whatever the formation is called. So that's the only unfortunate thing. If they had one other, they're, they're missing really just one play. If they had that play, we... There's Zeke on the, on the lovely out route. Works that out route, out route to the back works better this season than it did last year, so I'm pretty excited about that. The only thing that kind of sucks um, about this year's game so far, at least, is the motion motion routes don't work as well as they did last season. Um, can't can't motion snap throw things. The post route for Bunch Trail works really good. It's, you still have that option. Um, it looks like this guy's doing some different things with corner blitzing, um, so I need to be aware of that. When you're, I'm noticing too, um, looks like this guy's got auto flip on. Um, one thing you need to make sure you're doing when you're playing defense is taking auto flip off. Just in my opinion, just take it off it's not worth it, and it doesn't really do anything for you. Unless you're a beginner player. If you're a beginner player, um, then leave it on and play in the nickel normal and, and I'll cover four no, right the game. That. We haven't seen much of him at all so, so far. They've um, that's just kind of what I've, se I've seen uh, successful for the inner guys is to go ahead and use it because um, it's going to help them. It's going to give them a little bit of a step up. But then for those guys that are seasoned veterans, you know, I would I was really... Now, see, this is something I was noticing right there. So if you notice when Jason Witten got, got hit on Tampa 2, um, the linebacker pressed him. That's not good. <laughs> That's not what I want. I don't want him to get pressed. It, it screws up the timing of everything in this play. So, um, you know, kind of going to monitor that. Maybe have to change that route to Jason. The play clock's running down. See, there he gets pressed again. And it's, it's just really, really bad. Spacing is not right. The slant route comes over the middle earlier than it did last year. So, Another big game that time. This there. one goes for 19 uh, yards. Let's see what we got. Okay, I'm not so great at math. Um, I just looked over the only frustrating part is that the Pittsburgh Steelers don't have the I form. To get um, started here on this they don't have the I form twins. They don't have any of the two back things that they had. That is pretty good. Um, so now, that's kind of unfortunate well, because that was my go to down in the red zone. How one as a defensive coordinator. Do you really get after the quarterback? But they still have this formation, which is pretty good. Um, it's not, again, they've made a lot of adjustments with plays in this specific formation. 
Um, so I'm gonna have to look around at the playbooks and figure out what's the best, what's the best combination, and what's the best playbook I can get, so that I can get everything. I need. Cause like this one has, uh, it just doesn't have that wide receiver underplay, which I'm very, very comfortable with. Very, very good play for the red zone. So I will have to look and see what playbook does. It may, they may have taken it out of the game. Uh, I wouldn't surprise me if they did, because it was such a powerful play last season for me. So we'll start out power row. And there you go, Red Sea parts, and we're in. Good first drive for the Cowboys. Start out 2018 right. Um, let's see here. Formation. My red zone offense is not, not quite as good as it was. Dan Bailey now for the extra point. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Field goals are rushing. Like it, it's just, I hate to kick. I wish it was something else. It's just to me, it's to way more this one away. for a field goal than it should be. All right, so defense, um, there's a couple of things. I already know of some blitzes. Um, I was messing around with the in the uh, while I was waiting for all the games to load. I was messing around with it the other night, and the nickel 335 wide has some pressure that you can utilize um, if you want. Come out in, I come out in cover four. And what you're going to do is you're going to shift your line. That's the now that pressure sometimes. I'm really excited about the Cowboys lineup, though. Um, so we've got Sean Lee. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing. Jalen Smith is going to be a beast, man. He's. Ten yards for a, still for left a on user second linebacker. Down. I wish they would make tournaments in head-to-head. -to -head. Throwing again, Ryan. Real, the lovely HB Will. We all know that split close. Or no, that was PAF outside. From his outside linebacker spot, forcing the sack for a loss of eight. So the sack pushes him back, and now third. So again, stuff like this will be um, available in our defensive guide. Still working on the playbook and the finalization and everything. Make sure the pressure still comes in clean. But um, this is kind of what we're looking at right now for our defense. So uh, taking taking Cincinnati playbook uh, for sure. Um, and I'm trying to look. I'm, I'm still debating. I was thinking a lot about stick to the zone, and when we loaded up the game, it just didn't work exactly the way I wanted it to, so we're going to go ahead and go away from it. Just for the first bit of the game, we may revisit it later. But, um, but yeah, so the, uh, the defense is pretty good. Um, you're going to have the best pressure, the simplest and best pressure in Madden, in my opinion, because it's going to be easy to set up. It's going to be from every coverage. You're going to be able to do a lot of things. It gives you some tools, and uh, but the biggest thing in defense is, is to be able to know how to use the tools once you have the tools, okay? Um, oh, also, real quick, so PA Post, here's one thing. This route to Cole Beasley, again, um, it's really, really good this year. It's just a quick snap. I can't say that. Right. It's just a quick snap throw. Um, let me show you. There's, there's two ways you could run it. So you could run it the old way where we motion him out, which is fine, and it will work. Um, but what you can do this year, and we did it some last year, but it's just way better this year, in my opinion. It's just a little – right there is just – it's very, very open. So that, that quick little in route, um, in my opinion, one of the better routes of the game. Because it beats man, it beats zone. It does a really good job against cover two. Um, if you guys are trying to uh, beat cover two, that is your play. Let's see how the verticals does. I think smart routed out routes are probably one of the better routes in the game too. Dang it, look at this oh, the um, if you, you want to mess around with out routes, I've been looking more into that. Because I think it might beat man-to-man -man better than um, the C route does. So we all know the C route from uh, PA Post, one of my favorite routes. But I think the, the out route might actually be better. The wide receiver. So you have to wait for him to set. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. 
check it down there. Z. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Bad. We, Ball pops we end up, I think, man, he wasn't covered. I thought he was That's covered. That's very well timed no, there defensively because it's not a bad throw. Again, reading the defense, I think it's a little bit more complicated this year um, than it ever has really, been. Really well done. Um, just because offense, of the way that the defense, plays, the way the right. coverages disguise themselves is pretty good. Like cover three looks like cover four. See, like right there, that move by that corner, that didn't used to happen. But you can still hit this route to Cole Beasley. The cool part about that route to Cole Beasley now is the user stick is so much better. Like they did so many adjustments, they made a lot of changes to how to to how you user in Madden. And uh, in my opinion, you know this works really really well. The the control is uh, just phenomenal. So like. You can really do some things with the running back in the open field now. It makes having a good running back an actual... Like, for example, if you were playing Madden 17, there was really no reason to have a running back unless he had battle ready. But really, even if he had battle ready, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't like it was, you know, just this, this great trait. There he goes, cover zero blitz. There you see the motion out route. And there's that spin. So you see that right there. So the again the the, the stick skill is is incredible in this game. Um, it's I think it might not be as good as we think. Um, but the thing is we're coming from Madden 17 where you couldn't really break tackles. I mean I, I was never able to, so I mean, I had a ton of difficulty. So now you can use spin moves, you can juke, you can truck, you can stiff arm. That stuff works again. So that's really refreshing to me. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue as we uh, as we transition to a new season because it gives you so much more power. I think it just makes it more fun too. But uh, here's power. Oh, let's see how it does against the goal line. They'll let Elliot try and run it. Goes Ezekiel there Elliott. There it the is. So that, that, that right there, that's just a truck. I didn't even hit the square button when it popped up to tackle battle. So, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, running the ball is is a lot funner than this year. It's a lot more fun than it was last season because you can really scheme around it. You can do some things. So I'm actually pretty excited for a, maybe an under center scheme. Uh, I so what are you thinking as a coach? So defensively, though, here, do I try and gain a strategic advantage and maybe go for too early? There's That's not many blitzes that I have found that are consistent, it's out of the back except of the end zone for, for a uh, this right here. Falcons offense gets ready to head Still kind of working on the their field. roster, though. Already down Anthony two Brown, touchdowns here in the first Jones, half. This becomes Robert a pretty Brown. important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They they have a script to start the ball um, game. Oh, man, coverage is better. Between 12 and 24, year. 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just Any coverage I think is better, though, some offense on um, this drive. Yeah, than it ever has been. Points get that it's not zero as four. Four. Yeah, Seven it's yards, still pick up on the pitch and catch. Uh, down, that's one thing I have noticed. So if you're a nickel down, and they the run the ball, it's a little different for some reason. I don't know why. But the way the game okay is played. The in fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. Oh, you get, and also one other thing about that so is you get so many more down, interceptions. So if you if you make the correct play, like you're going to get a lot of different points. looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. To throw is Ryan. Swings out there. To the flat so the defense Freeman. is looking pretty good, though. Cover two is still good. Uh, I think cover two will always be a pretty it's solid first, way to play, so um, just because it's a really, really good time. set. A really, really good set play. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the shotgun, Ryan. I think the user skill, user stick Dancing is a lot left. better. Hit him. Dang it. Mm, nice, nice route. And he will have a first down um, here at about the 40. I think the user's going to pick up a 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. This is Freeman on first and 10. And so I'll run there. Way forward here for a good little game. 
It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Let's talk a little football 101. The Here hot routes are a lot different, too. So if you um, on first down. look on there, you try to hot route someone, it's a it's a whole different ballgame. Like a whole different ballgame. Um, you can't put – this is this is why, actually, I had to get away from Stink Pinch. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case – Definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football hey. game. Now pressure still. Huh. He's going to go for a big Intercept that. Intercept field. that. Oh, praise and God. He didn't catch that. With nice, nice play. Remaining now. Nice play. Well, this Julio Jones went on one on top. Probably should have caught that on. Another example right there on the deep ball. Sometimes All righty. When the sun goes down Good. and it's Cover just the bright three. lights in the stadium, a little extra spring in their step, doesn't it? And that's what we're seeing from the defenders. Doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. Deep ball, short ball. That was a deep one there. But they don't let you cross man as much. There's there's a couple of different things. Up. How did he get that? How did Heath not get there? Oh my gosh. That's freaking stupid. Julio Jones. In the final seconds of the first half, Dang and the Falcons have come um, to But yeah, there's just so many things, man. There, it's a new game. There's so many different rules, little in, 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 innuendos to, to learn, little little things here and there. But what I will tell you is this game is much more improved from last year. It, it is a better Here's game Bosher by far. Um, the other thing about this game that's interesting with that with the Here defense is Switzer you're going to have to returns. figure out. I think there's a, a certain element of this game if they were on. I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't think kickoffs are that good yet. I just don't have a strategy. I need to start on the first um, until you can figure out a strategy. Until you have a plan, until you practice it, don't implement it. That's a, that's a big thing that I struggle with, especially in the here. If I just didn't turn that kick right there. In quarter number three. The other thing, though, um, so defense, so let me show you. So a lot of people like this 4-6. Yeah, the they'll do is they'll run cover two inverts. I'll show you in this game. What, what's the tonality of a so coach's spread your line, talk you spread your when a game is within striking distance like kind of this? Kind of this. And the pressure is emphasizing just the not, that it's not as good as some of the other things. It's all right. So it's not the same again. People like this more because they can put corners at. So, like, you could run packages. You go and we've got the football. And then what they'll do is in, and then we'll take it from there. there. And then they'll just inside works. position man up. Ryan now off the boot. There's a post route. Break, Steps break, away break. To his left. And nope. gets this up just shy of the so that's what that's what some people do. Um, but the reason I like Cincinnati is because you can have you have all the two, a third down. four three under, which is always admit, good. Like always good. All Trust comes me. Together. When the top Every year it's been good. Catching the, the football, right? Whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it. Whether the pressure is together with the legs, in this case the feet. Did a little toe tap always, to stay in bounds and always one of my great job by our crew on the kick. How is that not intercepted? You see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber That's a second flying up. Great catch. And incomplete. The contact made the ball Every year at the free and year brings I up do fourth love down. There's Matt Bosher now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. It looks like my safeties are uh, with them with Barry Church leaving. It's not a good thing. The safeties for the Cowboys are not as good. They, the defense is still pretty sus. Pretty suspect. He gets this one Offenses. away. Boy, it's another boomer. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20 yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. You got you've got you've got a couple of the only thing you don't have, because they got rid of him, you don't have a, a speed threat on the outside. You don't have like a Lucky Whitehead. Lucky Whitehead was just one of those guys, kind of like a scat, quick guy First that could really do some things. There it is. Oh, Beasley. And he's got some space here. And all the way I'm telling you guys, the out route spin move is Dallas. freaking legit. They have to. They have to respect. 
But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that. against man, there's that route to Cole Beasley against man. I'm telling you, it's money um, against man to man because it's a very good level route. It's just a quick little rub. Um, there's some other things you can do to make it really very difficult to stop. Gets up field, man -man. Has a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal game. To throw his press gun. Beasley. And he finds Hold Beasley complete. And he's able to get it down to the 25. So the bunch line. still works. It's a seven yard gain there, and it's good enough. A lot to of move people the thought the bunch wouldn't be good. I actually thought that when I saw that comment, um, I first thought, man, I'm going to need to find something else. So I started looking around, and then I realized the bunch trail. And the bunch trail. What's going to keep the bunch good? There's a couple of other new plays and too in the bunch. The, the Steelers the don't have it. Um, they don't have some of the plays completion. that people would want to run. Really but out. they do have like this deep corner play, in my opinion, is more valuable than some of the new plays in bunch because you get that post there. route off that edge, and it's just just another big plays. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this again? One, that's one thing you so could do. So there's um, a there's like coach the adjustments first. now, and if if you if you set your pass jumping, rush to aggressive, down, down, then then what will happen is um, what will happen is when I try to fake snap, you'll actually come off sides. So you can do some things like that um, against those guys who want to do something. Just, you know, just to kind of counter it a little bit to force him to stay honest. Again, this bunch trail route is really good, really powerful this year because. Ironically, the Z spot route because I was messing around with it um, from the, from other formations that are similar to the bunch The Z spot route does not work as well in this game as it did in previous games, even though they. You know, so far as to take the play out of the bunch week entirely. And the in motion. Still does not work as well. His pass and the stop will come inside the five at the four. The catch good throw. for six yards, but now it's third and goal. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, yeah, you have to be good. a little bit Mobile more quarterbacks this year, it, I think, are the way to go. Uh, mobile quarterbacks are targets. huge. Um, you could do a lot more with your quarterback scrambling out of the pocket than you ever could. Uh, not ever could, but could last year. Thinking pass, they come out in the nickel and and goal. the accuracy, the accuracy is not a big deal this year. I mean, at least from what I've seen. Let's see. Time running out here on the play clock. Prescott on third and goal. Dot. Yeah, that is Touchdown. High point Cowboys. passes, man. They still work a little bit in the red zone, too. Um, we don't have... We don't have... Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now but we find interested to hear your thoughts on the game. I mean, the group you guys have probably watched some they were play now. Getting into the game a little bit more, other people right? Maybe they get the first score. Kind of interested that to hear what what do you think? What do you think about the new game? What do you think about the new season? Uh, I'm thinking the the game. it's a really good step in the right direction. Uh, I think there's still some things they're going to have to figure out. But that's what this, it's like that. And he motions the wide receiver. As long as they're taking the steps. steps Blitz coming and down he goes. Well, they tried to get two. As long as they're taking steps in the right direction every season, which I think they are. I mean, I just wish they would have. I mean, the long shot story mode is going to be fun, but I wish they would have fixed a couple of other little things, um, you know, and and tried to just I don't know just. Make the game play better, not the features. Now to um, kick this one away. You know, there's a saying, material beats method. So um, if you, you know, playing, it doesn't matter what play you call or how many plays in the game, but if you have the right Atlanta material, now coming out on the fine. Field. It's the same way and in Madden, coming off a three and out, my friend. In my opinion, if you, if you have 
a and good go to a spot mechanics, that they haven't good mechanics in the game. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense game. moving. Okay, so how do you do Some that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you called before, <laughs> and realize it hasn't worked go to someone else. else. And maybe you try and find Flip one it. of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. I'd say they've got to find and a not way that to get they him don't. such a big part um, of their offense. I wonder if they might throw not that they it a don't. little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely they, neutralized. My opinion. And finding the to, tight end Hooper. Pick gameplay and you'll get it up near and, the 35. Uh, features, right they're going to be here. I think it's now in Arlington. So it's the that's just my personal the football, opinion. But, trailing on the scoreboard as we but I love the game. I'm going to buy it every year. The Falcons on third down. They've only a lot of people get pissed off. Tries. They need just a yard here. To be a stop third and one. Stop. Because you can't really control it. Like all you can do is play the game. So. so four wide here brings him in motion. There's a jet sweep. Ooh, that worked pretty good. Jet sweep. That one goes for 13 yards. Jet sweep works pretty good there. Yeah, yeah, yes, that. I think it's a five game, wide but set. a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right, they did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two possession game. They've got to get there. He will go down. Jalen Smith seven. from the four Jaylen three Smith under defense. Blitz, he dumps him for a loss of eight. Telling you guys right the now. Amount of sacks that I, I think this game is even though Let's just face it. This pressure line, probably better. It's been and time and time nice again. play, Robert Blanton. Even middle, though the pressure is probably better from the nickel 335, I love it. Once again, once again, <laughs> once again I think it's open space to complete a pass and find open room to run. I'm surprised they gave the uh, rookie has squeezed down the passing lanes, made plays on the football. The it's really corner. been a thing of beauty for them. Cowboys such a bad way. All day long prepping for the game. There it is. Boom. Closed it out. Fourth and 26. Start off the season. Victorious. So in this situation, this is where you go to your nickel. You call Two man under, cover two man. And they're indeed going to go team. for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see Ten, how this plays six, out. Six, get two free. Got to try it here. He's back oh. to throw. He got you. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. I get a linebacker. Down, but not just before reaching the 30-yard line. They get 39 yards out of that one. And it'll be first down Atlanta. Like, why are you the running gun. the ball? And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. This doesn't work, huh? Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. So, the nickel normal is still good. Like, the buck slant three, the nickel blitz. That stuff still works pretty good. Um, the only problem is you can't get, like, last year you could get just so many. So much now a play fake here on first down. Out to his left. And he just throws this Ooh. one away. Four three hundred's working pretty dang good, I'll tell you that much. To the end zone and it brings up second down. Worried it wasn't too raw raw as good on that year, one, but so that's the exact right throw. Either solid. your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Second and ten now, Ryan. Dang. This will be caught just inside the ten. Totally and missed. He's it. able to get it down to the two right. yard line. They'll get nine there as that sets them up better for third down. The thing about the fourth gunner is you can do a lot more from stopping the run. You know, it just it, it makes it makes it a lot easier to stop the run. Quarterback sneak. 